Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show right here on SABC3. Now, I'd just like to let our viewers know that what we will be discussing might be uh, for sensitive viewers, so please be aware of that. Now, organizations supporting and opposing a space on KwaZulu-Natal's south coast being declared a nudist beach are waiting with bated breath for the public protector's decision on the ruling. Joining us this morning on Expresso to discuss the developments and, of course, unpack the naturist scene in South Africa is the spokesperson of the South African National Naturist Association, Serge Pavlovich, how are you, Serge? Good to have you morning, this morning yeah, on the I'm show. Well, so I think what we're discussing this morning is quite a, a hot topic. Um, Empanyati Beach was declared a nudist beach in 2014. But yeah. groups naturally have been opposing this and, of course, trying to overturn the decision. What would that mean for the society of KZN if this were to happen? And especially what would happen to the nudist community? Uh, Look, nature is going to go and do what we did uh, all these years. I just want to say we didn't invent a wheel when we asked for Mpignati Beach to be officially declared nature's beach because yeah. nudists have been going there for the last 30 of years course, and yeah. enjoying the sun naked. Uh, so uh, when if, if the public protector is not going to vote in our favor, we're going to look for the other options. Mm. Perhaps there's going to be a legal option, so uh, it's going to be some... Uh, other actions we're going to take, but we're definitely not going to just uh, leave it in uh, that. We don't see a reason not yeah. to be uh, uh, can, made in our favor. Can you contextualize for us for a second how big is the nudism uh, or nudist community in South Africa and is it very easy for you to find a space where you can just be? Look, we got uh, uh, three or four naturist resorts in South Africa, they're mostly in Hauteng and Northern Province by name Sun Eden and Harmony and Kipisol Kluf. Yeah, in Cape Town, there's a small B&B that is uh, naturist friendly. But uh, uh, nudism in South Africa, especially in the last couple of years, is growing. Okay. Uh, we got a, a South African National Nature Association, which I spoke, spoke man of, that is also a member of International Naturist Federation. Uh, we are going to the congresses. We most probably in 2016, uh, 2026, we're probably going to have a congress here in South Africa. So we're experiencing growth okay. on year to year. Uh, growth, but also opposition as well. Why do you think that there is such massive opposition to the naturist scene? I think the public at large has got a, a huge misconception about the naturist movement. Uh, they uh, go and relate straight away nudity to sex, yeah. which is so far away from a uh, naturist movement that it's not even funny. We, in our code of conduct, uh, for example, we strictly stipulate that no sexual activities mm. are allowed. Uh, so, uh, if, if public at large understand and make a little bit of effort uh, to find out what nature's movement is all about, they will find out that, for example, kids grown up have been a movement of very well-balanced well kids. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's a social studies that we've done, all other uh, uh, health benefits that you can find from having your vitamin D on your skin and to being uh, having a good body image and not... Uh, uh, having usual uh, uh, hiccups that people would have. That, uh, when you go on the beach and take your clothes off, you strip all your inhibitions, you strip yeah. all your protections. This yeah. is who we are. Yeah. Uh, with clothes, uh, you might hide behind your labor design. Uh, um, you might hide behind the wheel of your Ferrari. Uh, but when you're naked, that's who you are. Yeah, I think that's the greatest form of self-expression. Yeah, and freedom. So. <laughs> yes, that's uh, one of the best uh, ways to experience freedom and, yeah. and be in touch with nature as well, yeah. which is very important to yeah. us. Well, thank you so much, Serge, for joining us. And we certainly hope that this will all be resolved very speedily and that everybody at the end of the day will have an opportunity to express their own individualism and, of course, their own self-expression of freedom.